one of the important things that you really need to do is to build a list you will hear people say the money's in the list it really really is it's absolutely true now again recent promotion of mine uh, shows how true this is I had a marketer sell out send out a message promoting one of my products he sold uh, what about 150 copies of this product at $47 each you know half 50% of that went to him he's made a lot of money from that so you know the money really really is in the list so you need to build a list pretty much in everything you do on every website that you create so how do you um, make sure that you get a good conversion rate with people signing up to your autoresponder do you just throw an autoresponder form on the page and hope for the best or do you follow some of the tips and tricks in this video and use that to increase the conversion rate of people signing up to your autoresponder the first thing to do is to maximize the opportunities for people to sign up to your list now a lot of the time people will create a website and there's no sign up form you know if there's no way for them to sign up to your list yeah how are they going to get onto your list is, it, is there going to be some sort of osmosis is it going to be magic you know how are they going to do it you have to maximize the opportunities for them to be able to sign up so this means at the very least you want sign up form on every page but don't be too in their face if you know at every step there's windows popping up and icons flashing at them and all sorts of things it's going to put them off and they're going to leave you've got to get the right balance you've got to present the opportunities in such a way that they realize it's there and they sign up but not so much as to annoy them so when you build a website if you're going to build a list for that niche every single web page should have a sign up form every single one and what that will do is obviously that's going to help you to build a list because no matter where they come into your site or how they navigate through this, your site they are always going to have a method of getting through to your autoresponder form two things to experiment with on your web pages slide-ins when they first visit your page you know these unblockable pop-ups try some of those see what they do um, and try also exit pop-ups to capture people's email address I don't know whether you should have both that might be a bit too much but certainly try it and see what sort of sign up rate you get if you get a good sign up rate then it works if it doesn't then it doesn't work so experiment with these and see which is the most effective now very very effective way of um, getting people to sign up to your list and you can boost your conversion rate your sign up rate to sort of 30 to 50 percent with this sometimes even higher is to offer a gift in exchange for the email address so if you've got a website on blogging for example offer them a free report on blogging uh, in order to sign up to your list they sign up to your list they get sent the free report now if you do that you will get quite a lot of people signing up but whatever you're offering really needs to be unique and it needs to be valuable if it's neither of those you're going to struggle to make your sales you could also try again depending on how you are building your list you could test using a squeeze page you could try um, you know you could try a squeeze page try different components on the squeeze page and see how well it performs because you could get a lot of people signing up using that so test different headlines on your squeeze page, different positions for the sign up box, different graphics, different bullet points and so on if you're using a squeeze page. Not all of us use squeeze pages, there's times when you do, times when you don't. So if you are, then test the different components to get the best performing squeeze page possible. But if you really, really want a good conversion rate from once you've built a, a list, is you've got to build a relationship with them they have to trust you if you're going to peddle any old rubbish to them you're going to just market every junk product that comes out then you're not going to have a relationship you're going to have a very very poor conversion rate if however you build a good relationship with your list and they trust you and they know that you promote good products when you say hey this is a good product you ought to buy it you're going to get a lot of people buying it because they know they can trust you so that is very very important and you can often get you know much, much many many more sales that way than just promoting any old rubbish that comes along so don't just sell 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 when it comes to build a relationship with your list if you're constantly selling they're going to get upset now by all means soft sell in every email so that they know to expect sales but don't just constantly sell because frankly it's going to annoy them and you're not going to get good good results from them 
but always give them valuable information you know if you're just saying hey guys check out this new product you need to buy it then you're gonna have no response from them you know they're gonna think you're a waste of time but if you're constantly providing them with useful information and you're not jumping on every bandwagon and promoting everything that comes past then they're gonna understand that you're not there to basically rip the money out of their product pockets you know they they know that you're someone they can trust and someone who has their best interests in heart and that's what you want to do when it comes to your list you want to be in a position that as a sort of management consultant I would call it a trusted advisor position this is the, a position of power where they trust you they trust you to advise them and they know that you have their best interests in heart and that ultimately is the position you want to be in and if you're in that position it's a very very powerful position that will give you pretty much you know a lot of uh, control over them and then help them to buy from you so you know really really think about that but don't do what a lot of marketers do particularly in internet marketing is they recommend everything that comes along every single product that appears on the market there they're going here buy this buy that buy the other buy this buy that and they get minimal conversion rates if you're gonna recommend a product don't just recommend it in the one email recommend it in a number of emails so keep recommending it build upon it talk to the product owner and really sort of tell them why it's something that they can't live without if you focus on their needs their wants and what they want to get from you then they're going to be loyal subscribers that will buy and buy and buy and that's what you want the moment you stop focusing on them and start focusing on their wallets they'll start unsubscribing and they'll stop buying as long as you're focusing on them as real people you'll get some very very good results from it absolutely guaranteed and if you can build a good relationship with your list you've pretty much got money on tap because all you need to do is send an email out um, recommending something that's obviously quality then you get people buying it and there you are you've got good income from that so that's what you want to focus on build a relationship with your list make them trust you and don't abuse that trust if you do that your your uh, subscriber list will always look after you and will be loyal and will buy plenty from you and ultimately, that's what you want.